am so excited to be here in Florida because this is probably the first time I've ever gotten to speak in Florida. I have to think back. Um, 20 years of corporate experience. but And I just have to commend all of you. Um, I spent 20 years in corporate management and project management and have been to lots and lots of conferences. And I know that the ones that I chose myself to go to were in the ones that I enjoyed and got the most out of. So I commend you on making an investment in yourself because that's what sets the winners and apart. Him, I am the passion professor. So um, yes, I am a sexual health and wellness expert. However, sexual health and wellness, you learn a lot about the mind-body connection and I've learned so much about just helping women understand how they self-talk to themselves and things that, yes, translate from the boardroom, from the bedroom, rather, to the boardroom. Because we all know sex hey. sells, right? So you want to make sure that you're using that when you go forward. That's what is part of your business and that is what I help women do. So because once you're confident in yourself, you start seeing that ab abundance that's out there and you can lift up other women. And as you lift up others, you will find yourself lifted you up start even higher. Today. I'm gonna give you three things that you could start today to help raise your confidence and help you be the best you that you can possibly be. Because my mission is to help women be happy. All right. Oh, we're gonna talk about the three F rule. Has anybody ever heard of the three F rule? Ah, there's a girl. What's your name? Valerie. Valerie, very cool. I use the 3F rule a lot. I use it with women. I probably use it a little less with men. Um, in case you haven't heard, men and women think about things a little differently and they prioritize things a little differently. But the 3F rule is um, a great tool and it's a quick hit for decision making. So do you think decision making might be a little bit important in your business? Yeah? Come on, ladies. I know there's coffee back there. Come on. All right. It is very important, right? And then we're going to talk a little bit about the chemistry of confidence. So when you are confident, there's actually reactions in your brain and in your body. And it's important when you understand those because once you understand that piece, we're going to talk about that mind-body connection and what you can do to raise that confidence level until you've got it going on, right? Because sometimes, I hate fake it till you make it. Um, but how about just do it until you become it? So we're going to work a little bit on do it till you become it. April stole a little of my thunder. She talked about power poses. We're going to learn about power poses. So once you understand the, the chemistry behind it, then I'm going to teach you about power poses, but it'll help you believe more in them once you understand how the brain actually does that for us. All right, so let's get started. If you can't feed me, fuck me, or fire me, why would I care what you think? Right? <laughs> And this so we know is who's there. <laughs> All right, this is the other thing, and this was a hard lesson. It took me a long time um, because I, it was people that did feed me in a certain way. Um, they were people that were important to me, but really what other people think of me is none of my business. This is another favorite quote of mine because we're going to talk in a minute about the mind and how the mind works. But if you think you can or if you think you can't, you're right. And this goes back to negative self-talk. And I hear from women all the time, and I even ca I catch myself doing negative self-talk. Who does negative self-talk? Right? And confidence is power without the stress. So there is something called cortisol. Who's, called a, who's heard of cortisol? Yeah, cortisol is a stress hormone. We don't like cortisol. We like testosterone. Testosterone is actually the confidence hormone. Now isn't that funny that men and I talk and I work with women all the time. Men have the most fragile egos in the world, don't they Brent? <laughs> what, huh? <laughs> I, had to, I, had a, I had a radio show called I'll Have What She's Having and Brent was kind enough at one time to be on my man panel. He was pretty brave because you know, men have a hard time talking about uh, women. And there are things that you can do to open up your brain's creative capacity. So we're going to talk about that next and just reinforce positive. So not the negative self-talk, but positive where you're creating that space, where you're creating that affluence. So another great Deepak Chopra, it's a cute little pocketbook, is the A, a to Z of affluence. Great little book. It's got little things that you can say, daily affirmations in it. Awesome, awesome read. This came out recently and I don't know if anybody saw it. But this was a great um, photographic presentation about the influence on our body chemistry by our mood. 
And there's been several of these studies. They did another one on bodies of water over in Japan. Did you see that one? Yeah, see, you're right there. We got this. Um, this is what we're going to do to help you with that. Journaling has been shown positive effects. I don't know. They use, they talk about, the most that they talk about journaling and having great long-term effects, I think, is weight loss. They bring it up all the time. That people that struggle and they do it long-term, journaling is always a key in there because it heightens our awareness of whatever we journal. However, a lot of people have a tendency to journal and write about the negative things in their life. So it has effects mentally, physically, and it also, this what I found really interesting, it reinforces our sense of security. It engages the left side of our brain and then opens up the problem solving part. So our brains actually, I know my dear Dagmar back there is always a left brainer, but uh, <laughs> they actually, I don't believe her because they, it works together and her mind is pretty amazing. I spent a little time talking to Dagmar. So, um, but she, because very logical. So the left side of the brain is very logical. You're, not only are you doing that, but you are reinforcing what you write mentally. So, and this is, the, again, that negative self-talk, right? So when I say something out loud, I had to think it, I said it, my ears heard it, and processed it to my mind, which then heard it again. And they have seen it, and I talked about this in the beginning, about the weight loss. Behavior change, journaling is a key element. So, if you are in the middle of taking your business to the next level, you probably have to change some of your habits, don't you? You probably have to look at things a different way, and you probably need to change either things in your routine, things in your lifestyle. So this is a great way to, to bring about positive change in a positive way and be able to measure your there results. Is this, well, the brain is a powerful organ. It's not independent of the body. And there is this fabulous, so I don't watch a lot of television. If anybody knows me, I would rather spend hours and hours studying things on the internet because there's so much information out there, it's like overwhelming. One of my degrees, I have a couple of them, but one of oh. them is in history. Just pretend you just scored a Super Bowl touchdown. What do you do? Dance. Uh, <laughs> show me what you do. This is a, show me what would you do. Yeah. <laughs> right? Some kind of expression, some kind of physical expression. And um, how about this? Do you ever do this? Do they do this? They do this. Power there you poses go. use the mind-body connection to stimulate hormonal change. I talked about cortisol. I talked about testosterone. So when you feel confident and powerful, your testosterone levels are rising, but your cortisol levels are lowering. Fight or flight, your cortisol levels and your testosterone levels may be high, or just your cortisone levels may be high, and your testosterone levels may be lowering, depending on what the situation is. Earlier, my mission really is to help women be happier. I am happiest when I am helping somebody else. So that is the passion professor's passion. Um, and I hope you all enjoy your weekend. So.